Well, it was a deadly journey across dangerous skies during World War II. Thousands of Americans never came home. But many who did may have a local man to thank for it. He was the navigator who piloted a safe course into the target and then back home. Fox 13's Lloyd Sauer shares his secret for survival as he reaches a milestone. His book is big and old and full of dangerous journeys, flying over faraway countries. He loved to fly, and he thinks he was scared. But most of the time I was so busy that I didn't have time to think about it, about much besides navigating. Navigating is what made Kenneth Beckman the youngest major in the 8th Air Force. He was 22 then. He just turned 100. He must have done something right. No, I did everything wrong. I never, you know, I was supposed to get eight hours of sleep, but I could get by with five. You're supposed to eat a good meal. I still eat only one meal a day. He admits to moderation. I'm limited to one highball a night. To celebrate, surviving is nothing new. Sadly, many of the boys who flew over Europe never saw 30. They were shot down. We lost more people in the 8th Air Force than the entire Marines did in the Pacific. Ken flew 48 combat missions in B-17s over Europe, hit by flak, caught on fire. I had my feet hanging out of the escape hatch and was just about ready to go. The pilot said count to five. Well, I was at four when my co-pilot yelled, hold it, everybody, the fire's out. Ask him how he survived? I've been, been extremely lucky. But the navigator often had something more. He had the German gun positions. I could put them on my chart and then I can fly around them. Using intelligence information to make the best charts, Ken would lead up to 100 B-17s around the enemy guns, and he could see the success below. The Air Force made Colonel Kenneth Beckman its chief navigator. He served 30 years. No doubt luck was part of it. Never worried about it. Never thought really anything about it. I was just doing what kind of like I was born to do. Born a hundred years ago, his big book shows the good luck and good navigation that helped win the war. Lloyd Sowers, Fox 13 News. Ken turned 100 on Sunday. He was born August 7, 1922. After retiring from the Air Force, he put in many years of service with the Coast Guard Auxiliary. He lives in St. Pete with his wife, Connie.